Okay, YouTube, this is Vertigo Electric here, and this is the umpteenth time I've attempted to record this video. I keep having some kind of technical issue. Uh, last time was going fine, except my sister called and interrupted. But anyway, um, so the reason I'm making this video is because I figured out uh, how to do something. Um, now, first, I want to uh, say thank you to uh, Deadfast CZ on YouTube. Um, here, this is his video that I had found. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and it's uh, how to remove YouTube's spotlight trending and featured videos section in in Firefox. And um, because it's it really annoys me. It really annoys me. I hate I hate having to scroll down past a bunch of stuff I don't care about just to see my inbox. And um, which may sound like not a big deal, but you know I check it several times a day. So it just gets kind of annoying. Um, so he, he had this really helpful tutorial on how to hide that, that stuff. But in his tutorial, um, I'm going to full screen this. And if you full screen the, this video, uh, you'll see that this is what the end result was. Got your inbox here. All the videos, all those uh, spotlight videos and stuff are gone. But you still have the headings for them. Uh, and um, and he, he explains why you can't remove those but I figured out a way that uh, that you can without um, disrupting the rest of YouTube's uh, appearance so um, anyway <clears throat> let's get right on to it um, <coughs> excuse me if you haven't full screened my video yet you might want to do that you should the quality should be just fine uh, if it's not then it's YouTube's fault but there's gonna be a lot of small uh, text items I'm going to be pointing at, and I want you to be able to see them. Uh, so anyway, I'm guessing um, that you want your YouTube homepage to look similar to this. Obviously, these sections on the left are going to be uh, unique to you, um, but the right side, all I have here is just just my inbox. That's all that's here. Um, everything else is is gone. And I'll, I'll show you how I how I did that. Um, first, let me undo that. Remove these here. Um, also, I do recommend that you watch his uh, Dead Fast CZ's um, tutorial video first, so that you know. <coughs> excuse me. You know what I'm what I'm working with. Obviously, I'm using Firefox. I'm using AdBlock Plus, um, and I'm using the uh, Element hider helper thing um, his his video talks a little bit about that so you're gonna wanna know how to do that first uh, so go watch that then come back okay so now I'm gonna assume that you've watched that um, we're gonna do we're gonna get rid of these these sections here very similar to the way that um, his video shows uh, so we're gonna press control shift K and now that now whenever we hover over a certain area uh, it's um, bordered by a red box and uh, we get to select it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this uh, um, this little horizontal line that's underneath each main header it's underneath spotlight videos it's underneath trending you'll see it's a thin it's a thin horizontal line and when you when you're in the right place you'll see <coughs> Excuse me for the coughing. In fact, let me pop a cough drop in my mouth real quick and help that a little bit. Sorry. Okay. Um, you'll see that the border goes around the whole spotlight video section. Um, so click on that, and you should get this basic view uh, rule box here: the compose element hiding rule. Now in his um, uh, he, he tells you to, to click on certain things and then leave all of this stuff default and then click add filter rule now by selecting what we just selected and if we click add filter rule watch what happens okay see look it gets rid of the entire box including the inbox and we don't want that so I'm going to actually undo that <coughs> And I'm gonna refresh. It should it should all be back. It's a little a little slow right now for some reason. 
It is slow for some reason. Maybe it's because of the recording. All right, so let's let's try that again. Control Shift K. Point at the the horizontal line to select the the whole section. Click. Now, instead of clicking Add Filter Rule, you're gonna click on Advanced View, and you might have to stretch the window out a little bit so you can see what's on the right. Now, in the middle here, you're gonna see um, a box called Require Attributes, and then it'll have what looks like kind of a directory tree, sort of like a tree structure. HTML head body form blah 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 blah, and the bottom one should be div. That's the one that you've selected, okay? Um, it the bottom the bottom one div will be inside of a div right here. So if you collapse it, it goes away. But you're gonna want to click. You're gonna want to click. You want to want to click that last div element right there. Now on the right, you'll see uh, um, an unchecked item called first child. You're gonna want to check that, and then click Add Filter Rule. Now what we've done is we've only hidden the first child of that section, which is that box, instead of the entire surrounding box that includes our inbox and all this stuff. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do basically the same thing for the next two sections, like trending. Click on the line here. Um, the only thing different now is if you if you if you look, uh, it won't say first child. You're gonna have to select the div before. Okay? Then click first child. Look look at the one that I'm selecting. It's hard to it's hard it's kind of hard to describe it uh, with words because it, it, everything says div here. So just look at the one I'm clicking on, and then click first child. Add filter rule. Trending goes away. We're gonna do the same thing for featured videos. Click. Now we're gonna go up two divs. Basically, it's going to be the first div that's inside this last div containing divs. Yeah, that's I know that's really confusing, but first child, and and, and I wish there was I had <laughs> I could explain this better. So yeah, select first child and add clip filter rule, and boom, inbox is at the top. Nothing else above it. Uh, and if you want to get rid of the what's new section. You do basically the same thing. Uh, click on the line underneath the header there. Click first child. And, and actually, just as a side note, this one actually has a last child also. But um, I don't, I'm not sure what what will happen if you click that. So don't don't. If you want to play with it, fine. But it's your responsibility. So just click first child. Click add filter rule that goes away uh, and this should only affect the YouTube homepage it should not um, it should not hide anything on any other page uh, not even anywhere else on YouTube and the reason that I'm I'm saying that is because if you go to preferences and adblock plus preferences and you look at your my element hiding rules you'll see that each one of these refers to uh, the div dot homepage side block, div dot homepage side block, div dot homepage side block. That is the element and ID of the um, that's being affected by the element hider. And obviously, the homepage side block is only on the homepage. Um, so, just as a little disclaimer, though, I only found this out a few minutes ago after looking at um, uh, what's his name. Deadfast CZ. After looking at Deadfast CZ's uh, video, uh, and then I realized that uh, you can do that with the first child. Um, if uh, if if you do run into something that is missing or, or this how this method, um, if you find it screws up something else, um, please let me know, and I'll I'll add a little disclaimer to my either as an annotation or I'll upload a new video or or whatever. Uh, but anyway, so that's that's how you do that. I'm sure that you can, you know, if you play around with the element hider uh, enough, you can probably hide all kinds of stuff on, on web pages that uh, things you don't want to see. I plan on using this on Facebook, and because um, Facebook's got a lot of crap I don't care about. Uh, but anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to go 
check out Deadfast CZ. Uh, subscribe, subscribe to him. Um, so at least I, at least I could do is promote his his videos since his was very helpful to me. Um, and uh, you don't have to subscribe to my stuff. It's not really that important. If you want to, awesome. But uh, if not, it's okay. Um, but definitely comment though. That would be really cool to get comments. Uh, share the videos around both his and mine make sure, so everybody knows how to how to do this um, uh, but like I said yeah comments would be great uh, likes would be pretty cool too dislikes probably not too cool anyway um so that's enough I don't want to go on and on thanks for watching see you later